So here's a cracker that you've probably all heard. Yeah, we need to touch base on that one. But what, what does it actually mean? And I have actually come across quite a few people who said we need to touch base on that. And they thought, I've got no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, if we look at the origin of it, and you probably know this, but I'll just explain because it's worth clarifying, is that in baseball, they have three bases and a home plate. And the batsman stands on the home plate. Once he's hit the ball, or she, then the running bats person has got to touch the next base in order to not be declared out. And so really, this is a kind of euphemism for having a meeting at some point or renewing a contact. But, but it's just taken straight from baseball. So you've got to touch the plate or touch the base. Now, you'd have thought that most people would know roughly what that phrase is trying to convey. But when you search this on the web, it's really interesting. There are over 500 million search requests for it. So that's a lot of people who don't know what it means. So it's one of an example, if you like, of one of those pat expressions that, that just slips into office language. And after which we find actually lots of people don't understand what it means at all. And so you get a lot of bewildered colleagues sitting around saying, I wonder that what that person was dribbling on about. What are they talking about? Touching a bass? Touching a bass guitar? I don't know what they're saying. 